Hello again! So this is the second video that I've made showing you the first sort of iteration of LPHK, which is a macro scripting system for the Innovation Launchpad. Um, the first one showed you some of the actual scripting functionality. Um, in the meantime, I've actually worked on some of the other functionality and it's gotten to the point where I'm ready to make a video to present it to you guys. So this functionality is it has to do with the scheduling system. So as you saw in the last video, there is the ability to make delays, right? So every single button here is bound just to delay for two seconds. That's all everything does. And so what's interesting is it doesn't actually hang the script. You can still schedule things while they're running. So you see, this is showing you which button is running, the one that's blinking, and the ones that aren't run, or the ones that are scheduled, you know, they're sort of, uh, I guess, this is called flashing and this is called pulsing in the actual API. Um, but, and you see the ones that aren't running are just lit up, and anything that's unbound, which in this case is nothing, is turned off entirely. So, yeah, that's the basics of that. Um, another nice feature that I added recently uh, is the fact, or is it the ability to cancel currently scheduled things and also to prematurely kill anything running. Uh, so that's super useful uh, if you, for example, have set up something that has a really long delay or you accidentally hit something that you scheduled to run or something's running that you don't want and you just, you're like, shit, and you just hit it. It's just gone. It's gone. Um, one downside is of just the fact that I decided to use the pulsing. The upside is that you can use any color and you'll be able to tell um, even if you're using red, that it's either, you know, queued or it's running because, you know, there's no way for that light to flash or pulse unless it's queued or running. I've not given you away. However, um, the problem is that these buttons, the function keys, they can't, they can't pulse or flash. So they can only be solid or off. Um, so instead of that, I had to make it so that these ones turned orange and when they run, you see that they just turn red. And so theoretically, if you set one of these to red uh, full or orange full, you m it might be ambiguous as to whether it's been queued or not. Ugh. But I mean, that's, I mean, hey, what am I going to do at some, I mean, I, I have the option of either limiting you guys from accessing a color of orange and red, or I have the option to just let that ambiguity sit. It's like, I'll just do that. Um, so besides most of the function keys, you know, that I assume you'd actually run full, you know, multi-stage, perhaps, you know, time macros on would be over here. These ones, usually I can assume people would bind a single tap or a single very quick non-delayed macro or something like, you know, control alt delete or, you know, volume up or something like that. So yeah, you can see that you can just, you know, queue things up and dequeue them and halt them and go crazy on the keyboard and it's super robust, it won't break. Um, that's, see, like, ironic because I just recorded this a second ago and it broke, but I cannot get it to break again, so I'm going to assume that that was just a more or less a fluke. I'll review the footage and see if I can fix it, but generally that system just sort of works really well. So yay for uh, script queuing and uh, background process management and threads and multi-threading and... <laughs> The code fucking hell, guys. The code is a fucking nightmare. It's it's awesome. I'm having so much fun. Um, that's all I wanted to show you guys. Uh, just to kind of explain a little bit, um, since I haven't done it fully on GitHub, exactly how that event system totally works out. Of course, that's not really relevant. If you're, again, as I if I load this layout, you see, it just very simply just makes the volume go up and down. Um, and then, you know, so it, the, you don't even see the lights. Um, it's pretty irrelevant in general usage, but yeah, that's all I wanted to show you guys. So later. Um, but yeah, so it is a really dynamic and protected system that uh, even when I smash it so hard that the camera moves, it, it breaks everything. It actually breaks it a little bit, but that's fine. It fixed itself. 
Um, so it, it didn't fix itself. Fascinating. Well, I broke it. Huh. I broke it on camera. So it's running two script threads, that are th two of them at the same time somehow. Yeah, it's running two of them. Interesting. Huh. I wonder if I can recreate that. Because I, I tried to make that happen before and I didn't get it, get it to happen. I might have to act, it's good that I was recording because I might actually have to review that footage. Well, I mean, that only happens if you fucking go crazy. Oh God. Okay, it's over here, so I can't tell that it's blinking. Yeah, but that that only goes crazy like that and runs two script threads in parallel uh, if you go crazy on the keyboard. Um, it shouldn't. There's probably just one single line of code I need to add somewhere that checks something. But yeah, I can't seem to recreate it again because it's running up there, then it's running right here, then it's running there. Yeah, it's just running to one. So I don't... That's interesting. Uh, all right, well... Let me re-record that section.